So eventually, um, this fabulous woman, Tracy, started coming to my house, and what a miracle it was um, for so many reasons. Uh, the first reason was that she was willing to come for free, and uh, basically I wouldn't have been able to get her help if she hadn't been willing to do that. And um, I know, now that I know her, I know her history, she's always wanted to, she's always been the kind of person that cares and wants to help people. But she had um, her own battle with illness, and so I think that probably opened her heart even more to be a generous person. And if not for her, I know that I would still be in bed. The second thing, the second reason that it was a miracle was because of her history with her own illness, there were parallels um, between hers and mine, and those parallels were key to helping me to solve the puzzle of what had happened to me. She had um, some pretty major issues with her neck, and I asked her, uh, could neck dysfunction cause vision impairment? And she said, yes, absolutely. And um, I said, could neck dysfunction cause weak arms? And she said, yes, absolutely. And, um, and I had already felt like some of this might have to do with my neck, so that was really reassuring, and it was um, uh, extremely important that I was talking to someone who knew the answers to those questions. Not many people would connect the dots between vision impairment and um, neck spinal dysfunction. So um, that was imperative, but also the, the heart, well, we call her a sound therapist. Um, she came with her harp and she would uh, put my feet on the base of the harp and play different notes and based on the note that she played, well, my job was to tell her how far that frequency traveled up in my body and I couldn't speak so um, she would take her finger and run it up my leg and I would smile when uh, she hit the point where the frequency stopped traveling. And basically, um, she did that the first time, and turns out that different frequencies correspond with different parts of the body. And um, what, what kept showing up was that my neck was a major issue uh, in the dysfunction, in what my body, in the challenge that my body was facing. It kept showing up my neck, and originally, before I could speak, she thought it was my thyroid, because the frequency corresponds with an area of the body, so it could be anywhere, like in this area. So she said, your thyroid is part is the, the major issue that's happening with you. Um, but when I realized that it was really just the area of the body, um, I said, no, I don't think it's my thyroid, I think it's my neck. I had no idea that, um, basically I ended up finding out that at some point within all of this I herniated two discs in my neck. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it happened while I was in bed. I don't know if it happened right before I became bedridden. I have no idea when the muscle spasms were happening. Um, I don't know if it was like a subtle thing and it just got worse and worse and worse. I don't know. But um, every time she came to play for me, it kept showing up that my neck, that this area was the primary area that my body was the dysfunction that my body was dealing with and secondarily was my shoulder area which affects my arms and my hands over and over and over and over that's what showed up with the frequencies um, <clears throat> and this is what I knew it was it felt like the truth and um, which is totally amazing because I didn't know that sound you know that frequencies could um, give you information about your body. I didn't know that. So, um, Tracy had a friend who was a chiropractor who had helped her with her neck, and he was willing to come to my house, another person who was willing to come for free. Um, Tracy and the harp therapist, Melody, they both came for free, and, um, and the chiropractor came for free. And they all came, well, the harp therapist came twice a week, and Tracy came with her. 
and uh, the chiropractor came once a week from an hour away. He's blind and he uh, is 93 and he was able to use applied kinesiology to um, start to work on realigning my skeletal structure and uh, right away I could tell the difference. My neck started to feel better. I stopped having to put a heating pad on it all the time. And there were some other things, other suggestions, other things that were said in passing that I picked up on and I took and I used. And one of the other things that Tracy said was you have to lay down flat in your bed. And I was in this bed, uh, a Craftmatic adjustable bed that where the top comes up and um, I was never laying flat. And so once I started laying flat, I was able to open my arms and my hands started to get better. Um, my energy in my arm started to improve uh, very, very slowly. And um, my voice actually started to improve so that I could, so I had the energy to say to my parents, okay, can you help me get to the middle of the bed so that I can open my arms out? Okay, now, can you move my arms up one inch from where they are? And can you move them up another inch from where they are? And can you keep moving them up so it was like a clock? all the way to the top and then moved me back down and that's how I started my return to being able to use my arms um, and I did that for about three hours every day just having my parents move my arms uh, like like a snow angel in the bed um, and I started to feel a little bit of strength return uh, and that was such a miracle and uh, these people continued to come and work on me tirelessly for free for months and months and months. And um, I'm going to stop there and I'll continue in the next video.